What's up, YouTube? It's the Action Figure Grader coming back to you with another market update, this time for modern as well as vintage key comics in the Star Wars universe. There were a number of different items that just ended on Comic Link last night. So I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at what those sales prices looked like on Comic Link and then also compare them to recent sales on eBay so you guys can get a sense of where things are selling and if there's good deals on Comic Links or, or if there are people that are overpaying. And it's a mix. You know, some of them w went higher than what you see on eBay. Some of them went lower. And I think part of the reason for some of these larger books, the more expensive books, why they went higher on Comic Link is because you're dealing with a really trusted seller. You don't know if the case has scuffs and stuff like that. Some eBay sellers may have bad feedback. You know, there's all kinds of different factors. But uh, I, I want to run through them all. And I, I just picked a kind of a, an assortment of different a different, uh, both modern and, and vintage keys. So the first one I wanted to start off with is a book that is only going to continue to go up in value, I think, with the new Ahsoka TV show coming out. But that is Heir to the Empire, number one. That is Admiral Thrawn's first appearance, as well as Mara Jade, I believe. And uh, this one sold last night. It sold for $18.28, so $1,828. There were 33 bids. Keep in mind that on Comic Link, there are a couple of factors that also affect the price. Number one is that there is a buyer's premium, although it is lower than Hake's. It's only 3%, so it's not terrible. And you need to check the terms and conditions section of their website because some states they have to charge sales tax, other states they don't. I'm lucky I'm in Tennessee that they don't ch charge sales tax for any purchases on Comic Link. But depending on what state you're in, uh, you may have to pay sales tax. So just check the terms and conditions. They list all the states where you do have to pay sales tax. But anyway, this one sold for $18.28 before the, the 3% buyer's premium. And now let's take a look at where the recent sales are on eBay. On eBay, um, this one just sold for $15.65, same grade. It's also the direct edition, not the newsstand. So that one sold for $15.65 versus the Comic Link auction of $18.28. Now, again, I think part of the factor is, is that if you look at the photos, they're not great photos. So it's really hard to get a sense of how good the case is and whether it's a low grade, quote unquote, 9.8 versus a high grade. And so these photos were not great, but still, that still sold at 1565. Plus, you got to pay eBay taxes on top of that. So um, that was one. And then another one with better photos, that one sold for 1576. That one ended on July 11th. So a little bit out outdated in terms of the data. But, uh, you know, you're looking at roughly fifteen to $1,600 on eBay uh, versus the Comic Link auction that sold at $1,828. But it had really great photos, as you can see here. So really clean copy. So just a comparison there. But there are some examples where the Comic Link auctions ended much lower than on eBay. So we'll go through those as well. Uh, the next one I wanted to show was Star Wars number 43 from the original Vintage Run. Uh, this one has the first appearance of Lando Calrissian, which we all know that Disney Plus has a show coming out on Lando. It also has the second comic book appearance of Boba Fett. So it's a big issue. That one sold for 501. It was a 9.8 grade. All these are 9.8 grades just for apples to apples comparison. Beautiful cover. Betrayal at Bespin. I love the way that this cover looks. And in terms of the most recent sale on eBay, uh, that was 725 plus shipping plus taxes. So a pretty good deal there for uh, Star Wars number 43, um, you know, really, really nice example. And, uh, you know, it sold for quite a bit less than on eBay. Uh, next, I wanted to show uh, Thrawn number six. This is a modern comic. This has the first appearance of Admiral Arlani from the Chiss Ascendancy. I think that she's going to have a big role uh, coming in the Ahsoka TV show. If you're showing Thrawn, you're going to show Admiral Ar Arlani. And I think this is a good issue to pick up. This sold for really low. It sold for $67 last night on Comic Link, and the most recent sale uh, was July 27th on eBay. That one had 26 bids, and it closed at $132.50 plus $10 shipping plus taxes. So, you know, essentially this one on Comic Link that sold last night sold for about half price. So this was a fantastic deal, whoever got that. I was watching it. I did bid on this. I, You know, on all of these Comic Link auctions, I did bid on them early on because there's no other way to track them. So, uh, but I, I bid on it, it was like a dollar. So <laughs> I wanted to bid on this. I just had some other things going, so I couldn't do it. But anyway, you can see that there, that was a great deal. And so there are some deals still on Comic Link. Now, this is one I wanted to really kind of fo focus it and hone in on. That is Star Wars number 81. 
It was graded 9.8. This is the uh, story of how Boba Fett survived or escaped from the Sarlacc pit. But, a big but, this one was off-center. So as you can see here, uh, the, the binding on this one was off-center. Now, as long as the comic itself is clean, CGC does not hurt the grade if the comic is super clean and is a 9.8 grade. But if it has a, mis a miswrap, this is called a miswrap, where you can see that part of the back cover is showing around the top portion of it, then uh, it's still good at 9.8, but it's a lower grade 9.8 than one that has perfect centering. So you need to really look at the photos and make sure you know what you're buying. Now, this one sold at 500, uh, 24 bids, and this was last night. So this is much, much lower than where they have sold recently on eBay. And I think it, the, the major reason why is because of this miswrap. So really hone in on those photos and make sure that you know what you're buying. You know, some some uh, books will even have spine ticks or uh, some, some fading to the color and still get a 9.8. So you really got to be careful. Um, in terms of ones that have better centering, this one also had just a slight bit of miswrap, not nearly as bad as the one that sold on Comic Link. And the photos were not great, but that one sold, still sold for $7.50 plus taxes on eBay. Um, and then another one that's just sold August 3rd, so three days ago. That one was in an auction. It had 21 bids. I was watching that one, but this one went way higher. But as you can see, along the, the spine of that book, it had almost perfect centering. So uh, a, a really nice example. That one sold for $7.10 plus taxes. So the, the one on Comic Link sold for a pretty big discount. You know, let's call it... Uh, about a 20 to 25% discount versus recent eBay sales. But again, it's, I, I think it's because of this miswrap. But that's a really hot book right now because of the book of Boba Fett coming out at the end of this year on Disney+. Plus. And you would assume that there's going to be some kind of uh, explanation for how he survived the Sarlacc pit in that show. But we'll, we'll, we'll have to see what, what Disney does. But this is a perfect example of, of you know, wh where they're selling on eBay. So... Anyway, another one that I've, I've touched on in the past in other videos is Darth Vader number one. Uh, this one was from April of 2015. This has the first appearance of Black Chrysanthemum, who is a Wookiee bounty hunter that you see a lot in uh, the Dr. Afra comic book series. Uh, there's already been a lot of rumors that the Wookiee race is going to show up uh, in The Mandalorian Season 3 and most likely also in the Book of Boba Fett. So... Black Chrysanthemum would be a natural fit for that, and this book has been jumping up. I mean, you know, a couple months ago, this was a $100 book. This one sold for $205 on, uh, on Comic Link last night with 27 bids. That's actually higher than where they've been selling on eBay. This one sold for $150, exact same book, same grade. But uh, I've seen them sell as low as $125. I have seen them sell closer to that $200 mark. So that gives you a pretty wide range, but I think it's because it's such a minor character. And because it's still in the kind of the heavy speculation phase. And, you know, I, I just, you know, it's going to be considered really a minor key, even if he does show up uh, on the Book of Boba Fett or in, uh, you know, some other Mandalorians, whatever. So uh, just keep that in mind. But that gives you a, a better target, I think, is that 150 price point. But uh, it seems like most of the buy it now prices are at 200 on eBay. Uh, another one that is a really big book. This is Kanan, the last Padawan number one. Um, you know, as you can see here, it says it's the first appearance of the Rebels team, but it's really just the first appearance of Kanan Jarrus or uh, Caleb Dune, as he was known before he became a Jedi. Um, th this has since been updated by CGC, as we've already talked about, to only say the first appearance of Kanan Jarrus, whereas uh, Kanan number six is going to be really the first full, team, first full team appearance. But anyway, there were three of these, all 9.8, that all sold last night. Uh, this one sold at 308. This one sold at 301. And then the last one that closed was at 276. And that's kind of right in line with where they've been selling. Um, it's, it's a really nice book, but not nearly as uh, expensive or as popular within the comic market as issue number six, which we'll go over in a second. But, you know, let's call it 275 to, th to the low 300s is where, is where the, all three of those sold on, on Comic Link. In terms of the most recent sale, on eBay, it was three twenty-five. I've seen them sell closer to that three hundred dollar mark in an auction, but uh, that gives you a pretty good price target. I think is that kind of three hundred dollar price point for Kanan, the last Padawan number one. Um, and then this is another one that I really would like to get. This is Mace Window number five. This is the first appearance of Ahsoka Tano within the Marvel Star Wars canon. 
So uh, certainly a lot less expensive than Clone Wars number one, which can go for three to four thousand dollars. But uh, this is a book that I think has a lot of potential. This one sold for one forty eight with 16 bids on Comic Link. That was a great deal. I really would love to a bid on that one. Uh, on, on eBay, they're selling closer to 206. This one uh, just sold on July 23rd, 18 bids, 206. I've seen them sell as high as 250 and even $300 on eBay. But uh, that gives you a pretty good price target. If you can if you can get it under for two under two hundred dollars, like this one that sold last night on Comic Link, you are doing really well. And I, I'm I'm a hundred percent positive that this book is going to appreciate if the Ahsoka TV show on Disney Plus does well and is is well received. So uh, the the last one I had is one I alluded to earlier. That's Kanan. It's really Kanan number six. It's not Kanan the Last Padawan. They switched the title up to just say Kanan uh, for for this issue. But really, this is the first full uh, team appearance of the uh, of, of the rebels. And uh, wh why this one is hot is because this is the it's really Sabine Wren. Everyone's speculating that Sabine Wren is being cast right now in terms of the actor, and that she's going to show up either on Ahsoka or, in my opinion, probably more likely on uh, the Mandalorian. But this is a really really hot comic, and uh, this one sold for six oh six with thirty three bids. On Comic Link, in terms of eBay sales prices, they are all over the map. But typically, this is probably your best example. This just sold five days ago in an auction with 28 bids. That one sold for 710 plus taxes, so closer to $800. I've seen them sell as, as high as $800 plus taxes. So uh, it's a really uh, big comic right now. And uh, with Ezra Bridger already being uh, confirmed uh, to be in the Ahsoka show, and he's already been cast, the uh, the star from Aladdin, the live action movie. Um, I think this book has a, a ton of potential, given that it's the first appearance of Ezra, it's the first appearance of uh, Era Syndulla, as well as Sabine Wren. I mean, it's just got a lot going for it, and I think it's only going to go up in value. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this look at some of the Comic Link sales that closed last night, and their comparison to the prices uh, recent sales prices on eBay. I think it's helpful to kind of see where they're selling, but there's clearly some good deals and there's clearly some that, that sold for more than where they're selling for on eBay for various reasons, whether it's centering of the of the comic or bad photos from the eBay sellers, but uh, just some useful information for those of you who collect CGC 9.8 comics. Thanks so much for watching and I'll be back soon.